Last week I showed you how to balance redox equations in a basic solution, so this week, building on that principle, I'm going to show you how to balance redox equations in acidic solutions. It's very similar to the basic setup, the only difference is we're adding H plus on the left and water on the right. So let's go ahead and write our variables and our new equation with H plus and water included. So we've got A Cr2O7 2 minus plus B Cl minus plus C H plus reacts to form D Cr3 plus plus E Cl2 plus F H2O. And just like the basic equation, we don't have enough information yet to balance this. We've only got four unique elements, but we have six unknown variables. So we're going to have to add the oxidation states for each of our atoms. So we'll start here in the A molecule. Oxygen is usually in a negative two state, so negative two. We have seven of those, so that's negative 14. That means the chromium has to be in a plus six state to get two minus for the overall molecule. We have a Cl minus, so that has to be a negative one. H plus has to be a plus one. Chromium in the three plus oxidation state has to be a plus three. Chlorine gas, uh, chlorine is usually negative one, but here we have two chlorines together to form a neutral molecule, so chlorine is in the zero state. And with water, we have oxygen in the minus two and hydrogen in the plus one. All right, so we have enough information to write our equations now. So we'll start with chromium. We have two chromiums in the A molecule and we have one chromium in the D molecule. Next, we have oxygen. We have seven oxygen in the A molecule and we have one oxygen in the F molecule. We have chlorine next. We have one chlorine in the B molecule and two in the E molecule. And we have hydrogen. We have one hydrogen in the C molecule and we have two hydrogens in the F. So now we can do our redox equations. And if you remember from last time, we have oxidation on the reactant side is equal to reduction on the reactant side is equal to oxidation on the product side is equal to reduction on the product side. All right, so let's look at the forward reaction. Let's see what is being oxidized. Looks like we've got chlorine going from a minus one to a zero. So that is an oxidation of one. It's in the B molecule, and there's only one chlorine there. So what's getting reduced? We've got chromium going from a plus six to a plus three, so that's a reduction of three. It's in the A molecule, and we have two chromiums. All right, let's look at the reaction in reverse. We've got chromium going from a plus three to a plus six, so that is an oxidation of three. It's in the D molecule, and we have a single chromium in that molecule. Reduction, we've got chlorine going from a zero to a minus one, so that's a reduction of one. It's in the E molecule, and we have two chlorines in that molecule. So let's go down here and clean this up a little bit. We've got B is equal to three times two is six A is equal to 3D is equal to 2 times 1, 2E. Okay, we have plenty of equations now, so we should be able to solve each of our variables. We'll start by letting A equal 1, just arbitrarily. And from there, we can use our redox equation to solve for B. So we see that B is equal to 6A. If A is 1, then B is equal to 6 doesn't look like there's an easy way for us to solve for C yet, so we'll go down to D. We can use our chromium equation to solve for D. So we have D is equal to 2A. A is 1, so D is equal to 2. Looks like we can use our chlorine equation to solve for E. 
So we've got 2e is equal to b. b is 6. Divide both sides by 2, we have e is equal to 3. Now it looks like we can use our oxygen equation to solve for f. So we have f is equal to 7a. a is 1. So f is equal to 7. And now we can use our hydrogen equation to solve for C. So we have C is equal to 2F. F is 7, so C is equal to 2 times 7, which is 14. Okay, so this works out pretty well. We don't have any fractions, so we can go ahead and scroll down and plug everything in, see if it makes sense. So let's see. We've got A is 1. So we just have CR2072 minus plus B is 6, so 6CL six minus plus C is 14H plus D is 2CR3 plus E is 3CL2 plus F is 7H2O. All right, so let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit more and we'll check and see if everything is balanced. So we'll start with chromium. We have two chromiums on the left and we have two chromiums on the right. For oxygen, we have seven oxygen on the left equals seven oxygen on the right. For chlorine, we have six chlorine on the left is equal to three times two, six chlorine on the right. For hydrogen, we have 14 on the left is equal to seven times two is 14 on the right. So everything appears to be balanced and we were able to do it using the algebraic method.